Cheers. Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 3, Episode 6! <laughs> My god, Shangela really knows how to drive someone to the vodka. <laughs> Mm, I love that drink. So you've come over to the dark side. Oh I my see. god. Well, no, I still okay. We'll we'll talk about it more. Yeah. She's annoying yeah. as oh, yeah. fuck. Oh yeah. But Raja isn't helping. Oh no. It's like their dynamic is just toxic and obnoxious. Uh, so be real. Oh, oh be no, real. Bitch, I'll be real. Be real, girl. Be real. Uh, Hallelujah. Be real. So, this week. Cake, 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 no, face, face, face of cakes. Because of ace of cakes? I think so. I found that confusing. It's a dated reference, I think. Because who talks about ace of cakes anymore? I mean, I, I love that show. loved that show. Jeff, it's all about Jeff. Remember Jeff was the guy with the beard who like was behind the scenes like making all the shit? Yes. And he'd be like, oh yeah, I figured out this crazy engineering. Yeah, like, right, oh my god. Oh, I made this fucking crazy. Taj Mahal. And yeah. then you'd be like, you're amazing. That show is perfect to have like on in the background. Oh yeah. Where you're just like, oh, and then they did that. Cool. Well, yeah. So it starts. They're all talking about how Mariah just left, and Raja is like, oh, she's like, good. The more people that leave, the less noise there is because I'm an old granny. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. That's... Hey, you're upfront about it. Yep. I'm just an old granny, and I just can't handle all the yip yap chitter chatter. And she knows herself. I mean, that, that's true. That's that. That was one of the things where it's just gonna seep into the whole episode. She had to like kept saying, why aren't you being yourself? Why aren't you being yourself? I was like, oh, she fully is. Oh, yeah. She is always Well, fashion, for the most part. You're I so mean. fake and insincere, and it's now so apparent. She said, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. But I don't think she's putting on a, like, I'm being nice, no. pretend facade. No, no, no. She's just like, I won't talk to you, or I will, but right. I'm always Raja. <laughs> yeah. Or she'll talk shit about you behind your back. She does that a lot. So does, I mean, who doesn't? Come on. Well, so then, this whole episode, Manila is really kind of being nice to Stacy, kind yeah. of forming a little bond. She's wearing a, like, Dick Tracy suit, which I wasn't mad about. Not really. <laughs> it was a look. And yes. I appreciated that a it was look. a look. Yeah. But she's talking to Stacy, and Stacy utters the fa now famous line, fuck these other bitches, Henny. There's people in this competition who feel like I'm not talented, but I feel confident now. So, you know, fuck these other bitches, Henny. Which is great. Yep. I, you know, it's it's a bummer for me. Oh, I'm bummed out. That Stacey's gone? Yeah. Yes, because I think she's sweet and entertaining. Yeah. But also, I kept being like, but nah, the, this look is terrible. Oh, yeah. But there's a, it, we'll talk about it. Yeah. It's, it's too, it's too exciting. It's, it's too <laughs> much to talk about. It's just too fucking much. That's how I felt during a lot of this episode. Mm. Well, so the... The Heather's click has officially formed. Oh, Heather's starts off real strong. Heather. It's Heather wants to Come talk Heather, to us. Heather. Heather, what are you making? I'm making my skirt, Heather. I love that we're all calling each other Heathers. Oh my god, my favorite though. Like, do they all kill each other? Well, yeah, only one Heather stands. Right, Manila? Right, Manila? Ah, I, I kept waiting for one of them to be like, well, we all know I'm the Veronica. I'm just, I'm just, I'm waiting for someone to mention it, and I don't think that they do. No, I don't think they do, because I don't know if any of them really know the film as well as they pretend to, except well, for Raja. Certainly, Carmen is like... Yeah. I know Heathers. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, the mini challenge this week yes. is cake, cock, cake, I mean... I well, love well, cock. Well, Rue comes on the screen yes. and she keeps saying, I love cake. I love dark chocolate cake, cake. But then at one point she just said cock. If I could, I'd have a hot cake in my mouth first thing every morning. Me too. <laughs> if you love cock the way I do. <laughs> it made me laugh. It made me laugh too. But then I was confused because cake is like a, you know, a euphemism for ass. Oh, is it? Yes. Well, you know, maybe she was talking about all of the above. All of it. She loves cake and cock. Who doesn't? It's cake. Oh, it's not cock. Right, so she announces that the mini challenge will wow. be a nude photo shoot, mm -hmm. which I had actually forgotten that this was a mini challenge. Mm. I remember, misremembered this being a main challenge. Interesting. And I think it could be. It could? Well, I mean, no. if that's, it could, it could be part of the judging. <laughs> oh, I knew. 
you had to have a garnish. <laughs> that lemon wedge was a garnish. That caviar is a garnish. No, I think this could be at least part of the judging. Sure. Like, and the photo is part of the whatever. Right. Anyway, I yeah. just remembered it being a bigger deal. Yeah, like, oh, you have to do, like, a nude photo shoot. Mm -hmm. You have to create, like, a product or whatever. I don't know. Something. Some sort of thing. Right, like and a multi-part challenge. But I really like this this mini challenge. Delta is completely freaked. My heart just drops. You know, I don't even like to have sex naked. And so... But this is where I, like, I really respect Delta because she is just a fucking professional. Oh, yeah. And she's just like, you what? She goes, gotta, you know what? I gotta fucking if do If I want to be America's Next Drag Superstar, I have to do this. And she killed it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so yeah, it was a Rue is like, so you have to do a tasteful nude picture. And then she goes, you can wear light makeup. Bye! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she's just like bouncing. Uh, yeah. Bye. Um, can we talk about Rue's photo? Oh, we were having... Was fabulous. Oh. Oh yes. Stacy is first and yep. she's also nervous about being naked. Sure. But she also steps up to the plate and is like, look, yeah, I gotta do lovely. it. And it was like nice. It was very nice. Yeah. She got over it or whatever. She was like in the zone. Yes. She was just like feeling herself. Yeah. And then Raja comes out with these raccoon eyes. Oh my god. Let's discuss the socks. Oh, right. I gotta have these socks. <laughs> I totally forgot they were on. <laughs> she is like a ballerina. Yeah. Just, just every tip of her toe mm -hmm, and her hands. Mm -hmm. It was like beautiful. It was very gazelle. It was like. very editorial. Yes. Well, that's Russia. Yeah. And then Carmen, they all, I don't, I didn't really remember much. I didn't remember it. And so they were like, Carmen, we won. Spoiler. And, and I was like, what? But then when they showed it again, I was like, oh, right. See, it looked awkward to me. Oh, I don't know. I kind of... It was a lot of, like, I'm screnching and twisting and, like, yes, yeah. I get it. I don't know. I, I I thought it was, like, forgettable. I thought, like, when I looked at it, because the whole thing, Rue, was, like, you have to serve woman... Wom, womanza? Womana? I guess I was just shocked that she won. She looked like a like a Venus in a, in a painting. For me, I would say Carmen and Delta and Raja probably had the best work. I actually, yes, and I actually really liked Alexis's. Her, the light on her face was like this perfect angelic, like it yes. just really, and the draping, she looked like she was out of a painting. And then Shangela, still showing us her armpit. I didn't like Shangela's. Yeah. And Manila's was, looked like she was, had to pee. She had her, <laughs> she had her legs all wrapped around each other. I mean, none of them were bad. I guess it seemed obvious to pick Carmen because she is the body naked queen. And she, that's a third mini challenge. She's yeah, won. wow. Whatever, it's but fine. It she didn't do bad. I was just shocked. I was like, oh, I really thought she was going to pick Delta because she like fully what? overcame yes. and was like, I still want to be naked. Like she had an, a transformative that experience. Was and so I was like, yeah. Carmen I, Carrera better watch out. <laughs> My biggest fear was met today. I felt so liberated. I would love to do it again. We won't be able to get you to put clothes on anymore. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Carmen Carrera better watch out. <laughs> But then, we, well, we can all agree that Yara's, it's weird. Her body mm -hmm. looked great, but it was covered in a bunch of paint. And you were like, what the fuck is this? Oh, but yeah. Was she like, she like, but it wasn't even like, ooh, handprints on her tits or something. Some idea, ooh, right? that would have been fun. It was just like messy. But she you didn't got in have a, tits. a mud fight. I know, but like it could have been like on her ass. Something right. that, that was an idea fun. that was clean. This yes. was messy. This was just like, oh, And you oh, couldn't like yeah. see her body. Why is no one talking about Yara Sophia's body? Because Carmen Carrera better watch the fuck out because this bitch has got, like, got it going on. Uh-huh. But anyway, Carmen wins. Yes. And then they find out that... She gets to assign cakes. She gets to assign cakes to people. To be inspired for their outfits by. Um, and Shangela's mad because she gets pineapple upside down cake. Mainly, I would think, because Manila just had the perfect pineapple upside down cake look, but... It's too bad that Manila had already worn that because, like, my god. But you had to make it. I guess that's true. Which, but whatever. So the main challenge is to oh. create um, a look inspired by a the couture. cake. couture. Yes, a couture, couture design. Design look. There's lots of talk about couture. couture what couture means. Well, um, a couture look off of the cake, cake couture. That's what the episode should have been called. Cake couture. And then they add on later that they oh, have right. to decorate a cake that represents their personality. Now I gotta tell you, I didn't even bother to write down an opinion about these cakes. Most of them were blah. I have a few thoughts on some of them. Sure. 
But like, who really gives a fuck? It was stupid. I remember like having that Barbie cake at my birthday and being like, yes. I have some thoughts about like what could have been fun, but anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, we'll get there. Um, um, but Raja gets chocolate lava cake and she talks about how much she loves chocolate and that she's obsessed with chocolate and that she just wants to rub chocolate all over her naked body and lick it up. There's nothing I love more than chocolate. I could drip it all over my naked, lithe body over and over again and just lick it off myself. So then we see there's a pattern throughout the episode of people helping Shangela. Yara is literally showing her how to make a pattern and how to cut it out. Mm -hmm. When you put this together, they create this volume. Oh. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about why that matters later. Uh, well, and then Yara, I forget what, what context it was, but Yara just goes, I'm a wicked bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give the judges a couture high fashion dress, but well done. I'm a strong, wicked bitch. I love Yara. I do too. I really, really do. do. So Rue comes around, talks to all of them. He asks Stacy about couture. You understand what couture is? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. One of a kind, mm -hmm. special detail. She gets to Shangela and... Does anyone offer to help you out at all? No? Do you feel like the other girls are not supporting you? I know this is a competition and everyone's out for themselves. Like, has anyone has helped it, you or has whatever? Has anyone offered to help you? No. Silence. No. When you put this together, they create this volume. Oh. I was so mad. I was so mad. And she's because, like, oh. And you know what? It can't even be, I, you can't say that it was editing because she already had the fabric on the dress form. Yeah. So she'd already, like, the stuff that we saw had it's to have happened before. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. It is, is a bunch it is. of, it is. So she's just like, no, nobody's helping me. But you have helped other girls. Do you expect them to help you I would. I would like that. Well, I think it starts with you asking. It's sometimes hard for me to ask for help, well, but I, I will. What I'm pissed about too, though, is that no one brought it up. Yeah. Seemingly. If I was Yara, I would've been like, what the fuck? I would've literally been right there. I mean, because they all seem like they heard it. I would've been like, I'm sorry, I just have to say something because Shangela, I just took 10 minutes yeah. to help you fucking show you how to make a dress form, bitch. And now you're gonna tell Rue that no, no one helped you? Play that tape. Yes. Does anyone offer to help you out at all? No? I know this is a competition and everyone's out for themselves. When you put this together, they create this volume. Oh. It's sometimes hard for me to ask for help. Oh, okay, okay. So then we find out they have to also make the cakes. Right. We have no time to make these fucking dresses. And now we gotta make a cake. I don't wanna see no more motherfucking cake. So Rue announces that the guest judges are Sarah Rue and Elijah Duchku, and I couldn't get over that they kept rhyming and it was so cute. But um, when he, when Rue says Elijah Duchku, did you see Jason's face? And Eliza Duchku. He just goes, like I wonder what he knows her from. Bring it on. Dana! Like what is it? I wanna know. Why was he so excited? <laughs> I hope it's true lies. Jump! Jump! Jump, Dana! Well, yeah, so then they're all practicing on their cakes. Yara and Stacy start doing this, like, cooking show. They're like, she's like, so what are you going to do first? And she's like, what are you doing, girl? Uh, first, I'm going to ask this motherfucker. Oh, really? It's like, whip it, whip, whip it. it, whip it. They're doing this whole thing. And then Shannon Oh, you got to whip it whip good. It. Whip it, whip it, whip it. No, no, whip, whip it. it. It's like this. No, no, no. Hey, 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 I'm the chef. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the chef. I'm the chef. I'm like, yes, Yara, you tell Shut her. Up. Like, I feel like in this episode, Yara and Alexis both sort of went, oh, we hitched ourselves to the wrong boat. <laughs> like, wagon? Wagon. Tugboat? Maybe that's where I was going. Okay. Well, so then, Alexis is literally sewing Shangela's dress. I offered Shangela to help her with her garment because for me, it's nice to see that somebody actually take advice and trust you. Just straight up sewing Shangela's dress now. Well, that was what annoyed me more. Okay, like this is what was also then super annoying, was that because of Rue and Shangela's interaction, right. all of the other queens that normally are helping her a shit ton anyway, felt like they really needed to because Rue was like, well, aren't the girls helping you? Right, like it was some weird, like she was the victim again. Yeah, and it's like, well, why should, first of all, Rue, why should they be helping her? That's what that was a my, competition. That was my question. Yeah. <laughs> Why are the girls expected to be helping her? Yeah. Fuck that. 
Shouldn't you be like, well, Shangela? You should have learned. You had a year. You're halfway through season three. This is your second chance. Why don't you know how to use a sewing machine, bitch? You knew you were going to have to sew. You literally knew because you went home on a sewing challenge, which is the first episode every season. So what the fuck are you doing? That's what I would have said. That's what I would have liked to have been stated. But then, so then Stacy is asking Manila for advice. Yeah. I really, I wish, this is why I'm sad that Stacy went, because like it was growing towards something that I would have been interested to see how it turned out. Sure. That's what I'll say. Sure. But anyway, Stacy asked Manila like. When you won your challenge, did you feel a little bit extra pressure in that after winning? Oh, for sure. No, they're looking at you even harder because you were like, you were the best of the best. I liked this friendship that was bonding. Yeah. And I wanted it to be cultivated. Well, so then she asked her for help with like, with she's her like, blog. She's like, what do you think about this? Should I do and this? And she's like, why don't you maybe like, take some of this crap off and like, make it more of an asymmetrical thing? Make it asymmetrical. That's always more couture. But I ain't gonna tell you how to design your damn thing, because honey, <laughs> I'm gonna win this one. Gag. Right. Which was good advice. Yeah. The, I think the biggest problem, we'll talk about the looks, but like, I think the biggest problem with her outfit was the pants. The, the caprice. I mean, it was, it was juicy yeah. couture is what this was. <laughs> Nobody made that joke and I was mad about it. You're real thick and juicy couture. I mean, come on, it's right there. It's right there. So then to continue the trend of the episode, um, Yara is literally styling Shangela's wig. Let me do your braid. Oh, uh, here you have. It's pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. Maybe, can we start it higher? I hate this wig. Oh yeah. So much. Oh yeah. We will talk about it. It's stupid. It's for fully stupid. For a very long time. I hope that Yara purposely made it ugly. I love that. Saboteur. Saboteur. Then Raja, yes, in somewhat condescendingly is like. Can I make a suggestion? Just yeah. an artistic one? Just bring the corn up higher. Right now it looks like corn straight out of the can. Is that a read? But I decided to take her advice and add a couple more kernels. Hallelujah. Is that Raja's like, look, I'm here to like give advice or an opinion or whatever. Yeah. There's a difference between advice and literally doing something for someone. Oh yeah. You know, it's different for Manila to say, well, Stacy, if it were me, I would just focus yeah. on there, you know, whatever, this is what I would do. Some you ideas, ask me, here's, uh, here's some my ideas, opinion, or take opinion. it or leave it. Exactly. There's a difference between that and this is how you make a pattern. Let me sew this for you. Let me braid your wig. That's not advice, that's just doing it for her. Yeah. The Alexis Mateo <laughs> was in the bottom. Yeah. Instead yeah. of Shangela. And where, what, how different would it have been? If Alexis was like, no, sew your own dress. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I'm busy trying to get my own shit together because I look like I wrapped a fucking horse quilt around myself. It's true. <laughs> she has like the horse quilt. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's trying to be a pony. Weird. Bizarre, and nobody's talking about it, and I can't stop thinking about it. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the runway. Oh my god, <laughs> a look from Rue. Oh, <laughs> some, some, a lot of looks. There's a lot of looks There's this week. There's a whole week. lot of look. Um, and then a bunch of obnoxious untouched. <laughs> so, cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Rue comes out. Rue was she trying to be a fruitcake? A crazy Christmas fruitcake. I mean, this should have been for the Christmas episode, right? I don't... This look was insane. It's got like huge sequined... Oh my god. Reflective... Like, like ornaments. They're like Christmas ornaments. It it's like a Christmas tree like... died with the ornaments still on it. Because it's all brown. It's all brown. It's just like a dead Christmas tree with ornaments still. You know, but then she still was decorated. acting crazy. Like her, she, her facial expressions are like, ah. It was like a lot going on. It was like, yeah. I kind of wish, I, I didn't hate it, but I wish that it had just had the fun, silly things on the bottom down. Mm. Like the corset had been plain. Yeah, and then it could be in the hair too. No. Just for fun. No, she looked like a fun Fetty cake. That's what it was. I know, it was wacky. It was wacky. So, cake couture. First on the runway. Yara Sophia. 
I loved this. I fucking loved this. I thought this was great. I thought she got robbed. Right? Robbed! Her face has never looked more beautiful. As Billy B says, he did was you like, get beat up by the police? Did you have a run in with the police this morning because someone beat the hell out of your face? Thank you, thank you. Your face is beat. It was. Well, she wasn't wearing the crazy contacts. No, thank God. I thought the dress was perfect. Oh yeah. She, she encapsulated the cake into a couture gown. Oh yeah, and the, the hair. It, I'm telling you, she was robbed. Robbed. I was so shocked. She painted on like All the, the same applique the from the vibes. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, so cute. I loved this. This looks like something like Selena would have worn to the Grammys, and I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was my favorite look of the night. This might be one of the top looks of the season so far, I think. It's certainly Yara's best look. Absolutely. So then next, yep. Manila in her carrot cake couture. I liked this. I liked this. I'm confused. Yeah. She didn't make this. Yeah. She sewed each of those things on? No, it was like fabric. That, fabric that was like a fabric. That, that existed. That okay. was sequined. Okay. And then she sewed it together. Okay. <laughs> like she's sitting there. I was like, because then that's fucking couture. Right. right? I was like, that's the shit that takes like, you know. Three months. Louis Vuitton, like, you know, exactly. 18 people worked for 28 days on the. No. Right. Like fucking Emma Stone's Oscar gown. Exactly. Right. They went blind. Yes. Yeah, sewing, sewing 183 individual. Yeah. Sewing, yeah. <laughs> I nearly went blind stoning this thing. Stoning these turquoise embellishments. Um, well, I thought this was like very cute. The carrot thing, I kind of liked because it, it I was, thought it was an homage totally, to the cake. I thought it was totally cute. It fit with like the 80s vibe, right? And the cute bow that was the ears. I liked. I thought it was, I thought this was very good. The biggest problem was her zombie makeup. Well, I mean, I was like, did she, was because she was supposed to be a little bunny rabbit? Oh. Because it was all white? Maybe. But then she didn't say that later. No. So like, he's like, what happened? Did you stick your face in a thing of flour? Right. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, the, the mixer <laughs> exploded in my face. <laughs> <hands. laughs> or whatever. No. It turned it on too fast. <laughs> but then I was like, is it because she's a bunny rabbit? Maybe. If only she had like big buck teeth. If she was like, Walking down the runway, I'll like, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> right? Like Katya would do that. Yeah. So then next down the runway, Alexis Mateo. In her horse blanket. I mean, okay, when I saw it all together, I didn't hate it, right? When I saw it in the workroom without the cream top, it was more of a mess. And then when, when she walked down, I was like, oh, I get it. That is cheesecake looking. Like yes. she belongs on the set of Golden Girls. What if she had just dressed up like Rue McClanahan or something? Yes. Like, Here I am. Yeah. Here's like, my B. Arthur. Beaded gown. Yeah. Didn't you know? <laughs> With like a slice of cheesecake. Just like, duh. Yeah. <laughs> kind of not mad about that. It was an idea. Mm -hmm. It was very unflattering. I honestly wish that she had just pulled it up. So the, so the paper bag waist was like on her tip? So it was like more of a bodice and then it was shorter. It would have been more couture fashion, like, oh, a little cupcake dress, but it's like a cheesecake cupcake, you yeah, know? Yeah, that would have been cute. It would have been cuter. And I then think... also, no to the hair. Oh, God, that hair. I... It looked like um, Ruby Rod's not girlfriend. Gemini, Miss Gemini Croquette! Right, yeah. with like the weird, like... I don't know. It was really bad. So then next up was Carmen Carrera serving me some Betty Who realness. When she walked down, and I think a lot of people didn't get it, right? Mm -hmm. Billy B is like, she doesn't look princess to me. And I'm like, that's princess cake. Or this was like, was like Jersey yeah. princess cake. But that's fine, she's from Jersey. And that's well, that's what she was going for. Yeah. I couldn't, I don't think this is couture because it looked too cheap. A little bit. But I understood it. I thought her hair looked really cool. I loved the whole jewels. I did with too. Like the with the pompadour and the, and the shade. That was, I mean, this that was the Betty like, Who part. This looked like Miley Cyrus. 80s Jersey princess. It, it was Betty it was Who. what she was. It was what she was trying to accomplish. Yes. So I couldn't be mad at it. No. But I didn't think it was like fabulous. I think the biggest problem was the belt. The length and the belt. The length and the belt. Because she really, to me, when she walked down, I was like, oh fuck, she looks like she's covered in fondant. The whatever it was, the like the matteness or whatever, mm -hmm. it looked like she was wearing green fondant. And I was like, that's kind of great. So the next down the runway. 
Stacey Lane Bryant Matthews. So Rue keeps saying that. That must have been where I remembered it from. I guess so. Because I, I, I was like, oh, why do I keep wanting to call her Stacey Lane Bryant? Well, that's why, because Rue started calling her that halfway through the season. Stacey Lane Bryant Matthews Lattisaw. She looked like Red Velvet. Yes. Well, it was literally Red Velvet, so sure. I thought this had a lot of ideas and it had potential. It was just not great. I, I really hated the, like, crisscross over my chest belts. Get rid of that. Yeah. And have this big shoulder piece that then is a cape or some shit. Some well, like here's that. what I wanted. Yeah. I, I figured it out, mm -hmm. for at least for me. I wanted her to do, um, what is it, the Red Queen from, from Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. I wanted her to have a big gown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, maybe some red and white. That's why she had those horrific white shoes on. I was like, I get it, because you needed white, but oh boy. Oh boy. They looked like Rue McClanahan shoes. I mean, I feel bad, but I did laugh really hard when she said, I, I think this is couture. You know, I have my asymmetric, whatever. I have my capris. I said, oh, honey, capris are not couture. Oh, Hanny. Oh, Hanny. What if she had written something across her tush? Like juicy. Like juicy. Like, like word. Hanny. Hanny. Oh, my God, I love it. Hanny. Right. <laughs> if she had done a full-on juicy couture... Like, knock off? Yeah, yeah. Then I would have been here for it. Because then she would have been in on the joke. Where it's like, oh, you wanted cake couture? I gave you red velvet juicy couture. I love it. I, I love it. I'm into this. So next up is Changela. I hated this look. It was awful. I don't know how she wasn't in the bottom. We'll talk about it. But, um, so she has like this, this fucking, gold... This fucking wig. Well, okay, well, but... This dry, beehive, braided, rat tail, with the, with the black hairband on blonde hair? Just like, just braided to the bottom like you're going in the pool? What the fuck was this wig? I hate this wig. This is the wig that I put in the disaster pile. I hate this wig. And this makeup and this dress. She's in this like yellow gold but it looks like someone it looks like she it literally so stained right thank was you was it just me no i thought it was i was waiting crazy. for someone to talk about it it looked like she went for fucking french fries and was just like well i i don't know i guess i'll wipe it i'm really glad you noticed oh that. how could you not i was i was so i was like oh so someone's gonna say something about like the stains on her dress <laughs> someone's gonna make a monica Lewinsky joke right? thank you you took it out of my mouth like, Rue's definitely gonna make a Monica, Monica Lewinsky oh, joke. Oh, oh no. no, she didn't. No, because oh. Rue is just fucking blindsided by Shangela, apparently. So Rue clocks Yara's dark undergarments, but doesn't clock Shangela's grease stains. When you're wearing white, wearing a darker undergarment might not be the best, just because it pulled me out of the fantasy. And I couldn't even see the dark undergarments on film. Not really. So, like, it couldn't have been that crazy. So, anyway, maybe it was, like, glue? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. It looked trashy and disgusting as fuck. In no way did it look couture. No. She had a fucking birdie from, uh, you know, um... Like in Robin Hood when they're like, oh, yeah. get the birdie. Oh, get the birdie. With like the silly long yeah, tennis. Yeah, what's that called? What is that called? Backgammon? No. No. Baccarac? Birdie. Bert Baccarac, yeah. <laughs> Called Burt Backrack, famous <laughs> famous game. Ba badminton. 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 I knew it started with a B though. What, what pineapple? It was, I it was like weird gold leaves and a circle, and then and then a red center. I don't know. It looked like some sort of parasite, and she was the host. Oh. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it was. I guess it was maybe supposed to be like a pineapple ring with a cherry, but it was just oh. sort of a hat. It was like a quarter. Sure, it was but like it part really, of a pineapple ring really with a cherry. It looked bad. tacky. And then, okay, I don't think we talked about her makeup enough. I mean, it was really bad. And they called her out on it, at least. Well, Billy B was Billy like, B was what like, the what the fuck, fuck is happening to on your her face? face. <laughs> I seriously want to bring Billy B back. Right. Let's mm -hmm. make it happen. So next on the runway, Delta Work. In what I thought was totally cute, but in no way couture. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see couture. I saw a mess, but it was fun. And she was having fun. It was like, you know, 1950s sock hop teen angel. The only thing that I could say that really worked for this for me was that it kind of encapsulated the mess of a cake that they gave her. 
You know what I mean? Like when, because I thought, I thought that was shade too. Carmen's like, oh, I gotta give my good girls, like the cool girls, I gotta give them the yeah. good shit. And she's like, Delta, here's angel food cake. I'm like, what the fuck is this not? Like, this, that's a disaster of a cake. That is the ugliest fucking cake I've ever seen. I guess it's like easier to make an idea out of like angel food Sure. Cake, I don't, I don't know. This looked well made. Uh-huh. And was cohesive idea. Yep. It just didn't, for me, read couture at no. all. I liked her hair. I thought her hair was like this big pompadour that was like hot pink. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's She cute. was clearly having fun. She was living for it. When they all praised her and said, we love your outfit, I was shocked. I was shocked too. So then last, but not least, no. Raja. So this is my least favorite Raja look. Okay, wow. Um, which isn't saying a ton because her looks are fucking fabulous. So like, while I didn't care for this in relation to her other outfits, it was still head and shoulders above most of the people on the runway. I liked this. I liked the silhouette. I did have a problem with the fact that you could see her bright white, uh, under, pe yes. French peignets. Yes. Um, I just, apparently I have something against couture brown. Because uh, I was not feeling this sort well, of... Well, I mean, it was chocolate. What was she supposed to do? I get it. I absolutely get it. But I was just like, I don't know something about this. And then the more I looked at it, the more I actually really did like the hood. Like with yes. the, the braided around the edge yeah. and like the sort of uh, paisley shapes around. Like I liked, like the details were there. Yes. It totally was made sense, but it like aesthetically wasn't pleasing to me. <laughs> and then it. her makeup was too severe. Her makeup was too severe. I thought this was very good, but it was not for me the winning look. No. Well, so then they're judge they're going down the line, oh, they're judging yeah. all of them. And Michelle just straight up is like, "All these queens that I see in front of me, I can tell that being a queen is their life. I question that about you. Is being a drag queen what you really want to do?" She maybe has been resting at least at this point in her career that season 3 was airing, resting on her charisma and her entertainer persona and not really trying to improve her drag. Well, and I, I agree. I think obviously I'll... everyone's doing everything for her, so she hasn't had to. It seemed to me tonight that there was like a lot of raw talent there. She just didn't quite know what to do because she doesn't quite have the training. Well, then mm -hmm. she shouldn't be here. Michelle is just like, she shouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> if she can't make this stuff and do these things and, and create these outfits. Do drag, put herself into full drag then she shouldn't be here. Yeah. And I agree with Michelle. And yeah. and I agree with Raja when she says, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the out of here. Rue asks them, who do you think should go home next? I know this is just a stir up drama. So like, it doesn't really matter. Well, I think though, I, yes it is, but I think it's also Rue, interesting to get a perspective. This is ahead. where I really wish the Queens had stood up and said, look, yeah. Shangela needs to go home she, because yeah. she can't complete an outfit by herself. She doesn't have the skill to compete at our level. Yeah. Is she talented? Yes. Is she charismatic? Yes. Is she skilled enough to be competing right now on this season? No. With us? No. No. And Raja started to say that. And Shangela, although your personality shines, I think you should be on season five or six. And then Shangela's re rebuttal of like, oh, well, she's been doing this for 25 years and I've only been doing it for a year and here we are competing against each other. It's like, bitch, you don't understand what Raja was just saying. Yeah, was her like, whole point is that you shouldn't be here because you're not at her level. That's interesting, Rue, because Raja's been in the game for 20 plus years doing drag and I've been on it for one and we're in the same competition here. Huh. Okay, so Shangela and Stacy both say that Carmen should go home. I get it because she is the weakest of the Heathers. not their friends and they're not going to say each other. So that right. made sense to me. Sure. And Carmen has sort of been coasting. Carmen certainly has been up and down, let's say. Yeah. Well, then she asks Manila who should go home. And she says, Shangela. I would like to see Shangela go. She's just a loud <laughs> mouth and she's always talking and Ali Louie. I just still wish that she had said Shangela requires everyone to help her do everything for her. Raja wins. Yeah. I still, like I said, think yeah. Yara should have won. Robbed. Didn't think 
Raja was robbed. wholly undeserving of winning. I no. just thought Yara should have won. Yeah, not that this really should have mattered because fuck that nonsense, but Raja's cake was pretty fabulous. It was but, like graffiti. I mean, it, it was supposed to look like graffiti. It came together in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was but like, they loved Yara's cake too. Echevalante! Yeah. Echevalante! You know, the cakes were stupid. I don't they know. were stupid. I thought that Carmen should have carved hers down. So it was skinny? Yes. <laughs> Instead of like this big balloon dress. It was, like, it was just like, no, mm -mm. no. Stacy and, and Alexis, Alexis are, are in, in the, the bottom. bottom. And they have to lip sync to knock on wood. Oh my god, yes. Which I love. It was fine. It was totally fine. Alexis was like effervescently yep. just like having the best time. She, this is when, this is when I like Alexis the most is when she's just like full of energy, happy, fun, yep. energetic, you know, Bam! silly drag queen. You yep. know, I was like, yes, she was having a great time. Stacy, for the most part, knew the words. But it was low energy. A little bit. For like a disco song. You yeah. Know? I was like, well. And then she starts taking out her hair. Dress. And this is where I couldn't not agree with Shangela. Where it's just like, it looks like they're like your. Oh, she said poodles, but it was really more like it was a Yorkie. Yorkie, yeah. It looks like a poodle just shit all over the runway. Here she's having Yorkie puppies. It was definitely. Yeah, then she's just. <laughs> it's like a hundred more amazing. She's having a litter. <laughs> One, two, two. 98, <laughs> 99, 101 Yorkie. I would watch that movie. 101 Yorkie. Anyway, it was definitely Roadkill Runway. <laughs> yes, it was definitely. But then when they were done singing, they were back in her hair. Were did you they? That? No, I didn't. I was like, wait a How minute. How did that happen? What? They must have, it was, I've heard that, I mean like, they the like rumors have. come out that they've like done multiple takes. So yeah, it wasn't a terrible lip sync. Alexis clearly won. Alexis definitely um, won, Stacey most in her energy. Wasn't living the song. No. Uh, so I was bummed. Yes. I wanted more from Stacey and I want much, much less of Shangela. Sure. So I was like, well, okay. I think it should have been Stacey, Stacey and Shangela. Stacey and Shangela. Because I think sure. Alexis had more of a coherent look. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, Stacey goes home. Yeah. Bye, Hanny. Bye, Hanny. This so. week on Untucked. Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. So they all walk in having just said who they thought should go home. And it's silence. Silence for a while. A long time. Loved it. So Raja decides to break the awkward silence. Yeah, she's like, thing. oh, it's a quiet well, night. Let's cheers. Well, cheers. Why is everyone so silent? Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up, as they say. As they say. Shangela's like, as they say. Oh, yeah. Oh my like, God. This was so funny to me just because it was like they were so obviously they hated each other. Well, so then Stacy. Cheers. 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 I'm so glad you're here. And does the awkward, like, I'm pretending to be nice to you thing. Right, because you just called me and threw me under the bus, you know, whatever. Totally. It was clearly a joke. Sure. Um, and I was like, okay, that wasn't funny. I mean, either, whatever. But, sure. but then Shangela's like, no, I'm not going to cheer you. Cheers, Ellen. Cheers, Shangela. Oh, my. Maturity level, right. clearly. No, honey. Reality. That's all it That's is. That's fine. Cheers, Reality. baby. It's fine. Cheers. It's fine. The tensions are high. And I would say Yara, Alexis, and Carmen say... Not no much. Nothing? Yeah. Throughout the entire episode? Crickets. They are just like... <sighs> There are a lot of there are a lot of uh, absolute citron lemon drop shops being taken. There, there were a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't really have time for most of the conversation that went down in this room, to be honest. Um, it however, like circles. It was oh my god! It was so tedious and obnoxious. Yeah. But I will say this: it was interesting because it seemed like they finally got to a point where Delta and Raja were like, I figured. Like, they were like, this is pointless. I'm gonna stand corrected, and whenever I'm in front of you, I'm only gonna say the things that I know agree with you. There you go. That's, that's what that's I'm gonna do, I'm that gonna way do it's well. gonna be easier. The Shangela victim shit is a real thing. Oh, it's absolutely a real thing. The problem, and what's annoying, 
is that Raja turned into a kindergartner? Uh, why are you trying to beat up on me? I, well, oh, why are you oh. trying to beat up on me? I'm a victim. Oh, look I'm at me. I'm so little. Raja. I'm not trying to make this about Shangela mm. today. I'm just Poor baby. Oh, my God. I mean, oh, puppy, oh, puppy. And like, any time that, that she Shangela started to talk. Over it. Oh, yeah. And I was too. But like. But it was very immature. It was very immature. But here's the thing. Oh. I thought. Sorry. Whatever, dude. We're, I'm so Whatever, sorry. Whatever, dude. No problem. Sorry, Shangela. Mm. Sorry, Shangela. So sorry. You obviously feel threatened mm, yeah. by me, which is oh, why you yeah, want me to go I'm home, so right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you're not helping the situation. And I know that I wasn't really her intent. Exactly. I don't think she was trying to. I don't think she was trying to. I think she was like, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. Yeah. Because you have so much talent, right? Because you've been in the game 20. Oh, it's not, it's, you're the Olympian, right? Everybody else should go home and you're Shangela, the winner. Is Shangela, that right? Shangela, Shangela. Because Delta's trying to say, like, she keeps telling, she keeps telling Shangela, it's clear you have a chip on your shoulder. Delta, I didn't recall you saying anything against me. It's clearly evident that you have a chip on your shoulder. No, sweetheart, it's don't clearly... try to turn it on me. No, no, I'm for just, me. Why are you attacking me right now? Because I'm, I'm not attacking you, I'm so telling you the truth. You have a chip on your shoulder, and you have a chip on your shoulder. And I was like, well, you guys, she literally has a chip on her shoulder. It's clearly evident that you have a chip on your shoulder. No, sweetheart, don't try to turn it on me. No, no, for me. <laughs> Dipped in salsa. It's clearly evident that you have a chip on your shoulder. No, sweetheart, don't try to turn it on me. No, no, I'm for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh, you think I have a chip on my shoulder? And she's saying, you have a chip on my shoulder, chip on my shoulder. And it's like right there. And I was just like, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're all sort of going after Shang mostly Raja and Delta. But they're yeah, all it's just of, the two of it's them. It's swirling. Oh my God, though. And Shangela goes, will somebody get up and say something? I didn't You're say that you have the biggest mouth. mouth, honey. I just what, said you have a big mouth, Somebody stand honey. up and say something. Well, and Shangela's comeback is always, I'm real. I'm Shangela keeps it real. I'm being oh real. God. You guys are all being fake. And they're like, no, bitch, we're telling you to your face what we think about you. And then you freak out. You, you yeah. ask for everybody to be it's real. The truth. And then you're like, I oh, I didn't do it. Me. You now come in it. like a lion and you walk out like a lamb every time. What's really annoying is that Shangela doesn't keep it real. No. We are being real with you. We're telling you right now what's going on. Roger, so be real. Oh, oh be no, real. Bitch, I'll be real. Be real, girl. Be uh, real. Hallelujah. Be real. So Shangela and Raja are just going after each other. And poor Yara is just like literally in between them. Like, I, don't hit me in the face. Like, because Raja's like, you tell me this, blah, blah, blah. And Yara's like, oh, God. Oh, God. Is someone going to throw a drink again? It's just too annoying. I, yeah. like, I just, I, the whole... The whole thing, I was like, I just want to fast forward this. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to be here for this. Shut up already. All, just everyone, shut the fuck up. Well, it was, did you notice that they're all like going after each other? And at one point, Stacy looks dead to the camera and just goes like, <laughs> like, help me. Ah, I'm stuck in here. Like, oh, these crazy bitches. Like, it was so funny. I rewound it like three times. <laughs> I don't know why, Shangela just never understood that Raja had zero respect for her as a competitor in this season. Right. And that's obvious in the, like, on stage where she's like, well, Rue, it's funny because here I am on the same season as her. And it's like, yeah, yeah but bitch, you're not going to win. Like, you think you're going to beat Raja? Because <laughs> you're not. I just don't think you should be here. What's you, the big deal? You're threatened by me, right? I'm not threatened by you. Oh my God, that is the most, ugh. It's okay, Raja. Well, then Delta has that whole speech about, oh wait, it was so amazing. So amazing. She's just over she it. Is done. She she's was like, worked up and she's just, yep. Listen, children, yeah. I'm your babysitter. Maybe Stacy's gonna come out and slay the fuck out of me. Maybe that's what Manila's gonna do. I don't know. I could give a shit less. The more I worry about what the rest of you are fucking doing or what you have up your sleeve, the less time I'm gonna have to worry about me. I'm not worried about you, I'm not worried about you, and I'm not worried about you. Yeah. Yeah. Focus on you, Delta. She's that like, is correct. That is the, the right yeah. way to approach and this. And she says, you know, if Stacy has some shit up her sleeve that I underestimated her for, good for Stacy. And Stacy's like, I do. And she's like, good. I hope you fucking slay the house down. I'm not going to worry about it. Right. Because I know I'm fierce, honey. I didn't take it that way. You wouldn't be here unless you were. And, and you, you wouldn't, wouldn't have beat me long. in the challenges unless you were. And you wouldn't have been here this long. That's when I was like, oh, I wish that she had stayed because like she was growing and like yes. she was more engaging and entertaining for me and had more to to do and was more interested in growing and learning. So they're all talking about Stacy and Shangela's like clearly upset that they're not talking about her, I guess. I don't know. And Manila is like, 
Look, I liked your velour couture. I love the velour couture that you're showing right now. She was reading it. Even the words velour couture are read. Be real. Oh she my was God. reading it no. so hard to Bitch, me. I helped Let's her not with her be outfit. real. Angela was like, oh, that's a read. That's a read. She's been talking behind your back. She thinks it's terrible. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, when did that happen? What are you talking about? Like, I think Manila genuinely thought that was a good look for Stacy. Like, she elevated Stacy. Exactly. What, what makes me so sad about all of this is yeah. that Stacy was a pawn in Shangela's game. Well, yes. Well, Stacy was just a pawn for her. Stacy was so naive. Sure, is that a disadvantage in this competition? Absolutely. Yeah. But it's also something that's like really kind of sweet and endearing about yeah. her. Yeah. That makes me so hurt when Raja really comes for her for it as that's like a personality flaw. Right. You know, and it's like, well, she just doesn't know. Sure, she doesn't know the movie Heathers. Yeah. Calm the fuck down. Who the fuck is his hair that I don't want to know? <laughs> to me, if you don't understand it, you're dumb. That's like not knowing what Mommy Dearest is to me. I mean, you better go and Google it and research it, because if you don't know about the Heathers, then you bet you're just, you're from the backwoods. It's a movie. Maybe she doesn't know what Mommy Dearest is. Right. That's okay. Use teach her. A teaching moment. Exactly. Just share it with her. Be like, oh, who the fuck's Heather? Well, Stacy. Yeah. It's this fabulous cult movie where there are all these girls who are named Heather, and it's this clicky cult, and they're cunts, and they're mean to everyone else, and yet they all die. So that's what it's all about. Fuck me, gently with the chainsaw. Who do you think I am, Mother Teresa? I mean, it's so good. It's so good. I do wish that she had, like, realized that they have other things to offer and that that's valid. Yeah. So then the Heathers go into the gold bar and Raja's just like, Shangela's a child. She's a child. And she's acting accordingly. She's going to pee on your bed. Like, when you're dealing with children, you know, they're going to piss in your bed. But here's the thing. Who gives a shit? No <laughs> Tino Shade. Heathers are in this room. <laughs> I mean, what more do you want? And they're like, oh, let's not talk about this anymore. Let's just talk about us and how we're fabulous and how we're Heathers and everything's oh fabulous. Heather, Heathers, and Heathers. And Shangela is just like, I guess you guys aren't my friends. Uh, obviously, the people that I thought were friends in this competition aren't that. Everyone beat the shit out of me just now. And y'all didn't say anything. They were talking about a personal thing. No, that wasn't all personal. It's cool. Like, it's cool. And if, if that was y'all, trust, y'all should have known that Shangela would have said, well, no, wait a minute. But after that, man, that just, that hurt. You didn't have my back. You didn't say nothing. You know Shangela would have your back if you, if, if anything, you know Shangela keeps it real and would have your back. I mean, it's like a broken record. Yeah. Oh, no, y'all. Don't take it that way, seriously. Do Come not. on, dude. It was just something between her and Raja. I mean, I didn't have anything to do with it. Then Stacey comes back, and Yara and Alexis finally find a voice and start talking. And Alexis is like, well, I really disagree with that you cheersed with them, even though they oh, threw right. you under the bus. I was like, it was so clearly a joke. I would have never cheered with the people that I have tell you, you should be going home. Cheers. 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 I'm so glad you're here. Did I agree with what you did? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I'm you're so here. I'm so glad you're still here. Like, it was so clearly a joke. I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? That's why I was really sad because like they all, then they all started being like, you um, fucking yeah. suck, Stacey, basically. Yeah. Well, they were like, oh, you're so naive. Oh, well, Shangela yeah. is like, oh, you know what's really sad to me is that you think they're genuine. The minute you turned your back, she was kicking. And yet you sitting here high-fiving drinks with her. I was so mad because I genuinely think Manila liked Stacey and was like so nice to her. And she's just basically like, they're all making fun of you. You're, you're a fucking idiot. And like, everyone hates you. And I was like, that sucks. You're a shitty friend. Yeah. I would hate for you to feel alienated in this competition the way I kind of just felt a second ago. But like, it wouldn't sit well with me to know that you actually think that they're genuine. So anyway, I just really wish Shangela hadn't lasted so long because she seems toxic to the group. She really is. She really is toxic. Yeah. And I, I think what's frustrating is that Shangela and Raja together are very toxic. Oh, yes. And it brings everything about the whole dynamic of the group down. Yeah. And it makes it childish and immature and obnoxious and bickery. And it's just disgusting. And I hate it. I don't want this. Yeah. This isn't what I like. This isn't what's fun. I mean, I like it a little bit. But in a different way. Anyway, so I agree. I wish Shangela had gone home this week. But that's not what happened. Stacey left.
Oh, who the fuck is Heather? Who the fuck is, he is Heather? Hanny. It's, it's just, it's oh, just so good. Can we give a cheers to Hanny? Oh, Hanny. It's so good. Thank you.